eye. This is a little mushroom ring out here in Paul's yard. It's not quite a, a complete or perfect circle, but uh, you can kind of you can see they're in a little circle, oval really. And then there's one way up there. I'll try and look up and see what kind of mushrooms they are. They're really strange. Here's one that's really nice. They they've they've come grown up and then they make little cups like this one. They had bugs on them, uh, some kind of flying bug. And here's a different I don't know this is a different type of mushroom right here. growing in the moss over here. Hey Cookie. Cookie girl. And here's one that looks like it's kind of old. Grow into a little cup. There's a little bug. That's not the kind of bug. The bug I saw that was a flying bug. No, there's another one on this one little black beetles. Very small ones. He's a cookie girl. He's a cookie girl. They seem to grow in little clusters of three. Maybe maybe that's the the female version of some things have female and male versions. I don't know if this is one of them, but some of them are single. And then some of them grow in little clusters of three. Here's some little acorns from the tree. This is a really old tree. It's covered in uh, ivy. My grandmother wanted to put kudzu because she thought kudzu was pretty. But she picked ivy instead. And it, I guess it's killing it slower, but it still is killing it. But they have to be at least 50 to drop acorns. The tree has to be at least 50 years old. They're usually really large. Maybe that's just, these are just the beginnings. Hey, Ingo, okay. Oh, you knocked one over. Cookie girl. What are you doing out here, Cookie? What's my cookie girl doing? Meow. And that one, let's see, it forms a little cup. Anyway, I thought those were really interesting. I thought I would share. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.